Right, in today's video, we're gonna be talking you through a strategy that is gonna completely change the way you trade and allow you to also mitigate risk and scale longer term. So, it's a win-win. Let's talk through it. Right, so we're gonna dive straight into it. The one thing that I'll say before we properly get started is, this is not for you to copy my strategy. This is for you to take inspiration from this, create your own based on your own individual thinking and what works for you and put that in place for successful trading for the long term. There's not that much value in copying mine. It's the same way there's not much value in copying else, someone else's trading plan or someone else's style. It's for it's the tools necessary for you to then put the pieces together, switch out certain things if you need to, and put in your own thinking into the process as well because that's where the real growth actually happens. Now, let me talk you through it. So what is this strategy? So this is what's called a recovery strategy and it's one of the most important principles that i've initiated into my trading over the past three years so we're going to talk about it so first and foremost what is a recovery strategy right so using a planned recovery strategy is vital sometimes you experience external life pressures that can cause stress or distractions one effective technique is to have a planned and trained recovery strategy now, all great recovery strategies have one thing in common. First, you must get your mind off of the things that are increasing the tension or anxiety response. And then secondly, you must do th something that you can absolutely control. And here is what you do, right? So it's a five step process and I'm gonna talk you through it right now. So the first stage is to reset yourself. What, let's just cast your mind into this situation. If you've taken a few losses or you're stressed out, from external life pressures, or something is really distracting you, sometimes the best thing initially is to completely get your mind off it. Reset. When you're feeling bad and need a way to recover, the first step is to journal the issue, right? As quick as possible. So that means that it's fresh, it's in your mind, you're going through it initially. You can remember the thoughts, you can remember the feelings, you can remember how it feels. This is when you journal it. So get out a journal, Ideally, if you can handwrite it as well, just because it's gonna be better for you to address the issue. I feel like I feel like it's better to write things down personally um, because you're gonna remember it more versus typing. That's just how I normally work. If you're different, that's fine. But just get a simple journal and pen, write it down and write down exactly how you feel. What are you thinking? What are you going through? Address the problem. Try and figure out some sort of solution in terms of how to address it going forward. For example, Let's say you trade counter trend and pro trend. Let's say the market, as it currently is, is in a trending environment. Let's say counter trend trades are not playing out the same way. So the issue may be, right, you've taken more losses than usual. So the solution to that could be, right, understanding the market cycles, let's play the 80-20 rule. Let's focus on pro trend and minimize the amount of counter trend trades during this market cycle. Could be as simple as that, right? So address the issue, provide a solution, and then this is where the second step comes into place because this is where you need to refresh yourself, right? So take your mind completely off the thing that is distress, distracting you, stressing you out, highly, highly important. So one of the best things you can do when you're feeling stressed, distracted, or going through a bad period is to literally close down the computer and go and train, go exercise, go get yourself out in nature, super, super key. So the act of exercise in itself releases serotonin. So it's a happy, feel good hormone. So training in general will make you feel better in general, right? So putting your earphones in, playing some music, being surrounded by good people and put your mind on the task at hand. So it could be weight training, it could be hit, it could be hydrox, it could be going for a run, whatever it may be that suits your style of training, go and do that. And I can guarantee when you come back, you'll approach things in a fresh perspective You've allowed your chimp to essentially have its play, have its kind of emotional 10, 15 minutes maybe, and then you're going into train and you're just coming back with a logical base mentality to approach the situation. Does that make sense? Really, really important. Next, what you're gonna wanna do if you are going through this period, because this is just life. You could be going through something within family, relationships, life happens, right? You need to protect your risk, right? Because as I described a couple of videos ago, a technique because people go through kind of brain fog mentality when they're going through tilt. So if you've got external life pressures or stress or distractions going on, 
it's very easy for you to get into a cycle where you can then just trade in through it. You're trading with the same risk. Before you know it, you could have taken five, six, seven, eight losses in a row. And it kind of feels like a blur. It feels like everything's just sped up. When in reality, what you should be doing is mitigating risk as much as you possibly can. So how do we do that? We drop the risk. We drop the risk by 50% and consider not trading altogether until the things causing the stress or distractions are resolved. Remember, people may argue against this, but at the end of the day, your physical and mental capital are the most important things. So if your mental capital is completely out the window, there's no point even trying to trade through that just to try and play probabilities because this way you have to th kind of think realistic about it. You're going to dig yourself a hole. You're going to probably miss things that you wouldn't normally miss. You're going to make mistakes. There's going to be areas in there. So why put yourself through that situation? And if you do go through a period where you then take more losses on top of the stress that's happening, it's just going to add more and more and more stress and more pressures. So there's no point. Take yourself away from the situation, get out, go do something different, and then come back refreshed and then protect your risk. Very, very important. What else have we got? So this is because you are stressed or distracted. You're not going to be performing optimally, obviously. So the, pers the perspective in which you view the markets is cloudy and easy to make mistakes. Next, we need to bring our awareness back to probabilities. That's a really helpful step because you can tend to forget it if you're going through a losing period. Every other trade you take feels like you're going to take another loss. And you can kind of get into that negative momentum cycle where you're not even thinking about winning trades anymore. All you're thinking about is losing trades and that's not a good place to be in. So how do we do that? Cast your eyes to here, right? So this is just probabilities. This is a sequence of wins to losses. But if you're sticking to an edge that has data and has played out over a historic amount of time and you're executing that with consistency, it should in time play out again. So it's only a matter of time before that next winning trade kicks into place, right? So let's say for example, in this sequence, you know, you've taken four losses in a row, right? You're then bringing yourself closer to that next winning trade, right? So don't get me wrong. If you're doing something completely out of the plan, then it's a different story. That's a completely different story. But if you're sticking to the probabilities and you're sticking to the plan and you're playing the edge over time, then you're getting closer to the winning trade. So it's important to bring your awareness back to probabilities in the game of trading, right? People think they know probabilities. And for a long time, I did. The reality is you don't, right? You need time to really absorb this on a subconscious level and actually practice what you preach as well, right? And then the last step to this whole process is it's really important then because your confidence is going to take a hit. So it's important to build the confidence back. So how do we do that? So this is where you can go into a chart, go on trading view, go on FT5, FX replay, whatever you want to use and back test one to three months of data on a selected pair that you trade. So for me, that could be Euro dollar, it could be pound yen, it could be dollar Swiss, right? So this is to get you back into the flow of regularly executing trades again. Because if something stressful is going on in life or you haven't taken a trade for a bit or you're going through a losing streak, the best thing you can do is actually practice your strategy, get familiar with it again. I'm not saying you lost it completely, but it's just to practice those winning trades again. And then by practicing winning trades, you're going to be so much more confident coming back into the live markets. And that's key. As you are very well aware of, backtesting is a simulated environment. So it's never going to be the same circumstances as live trading because there is no risk on the table. It's important to know that. However, it's a good exercise to get your, yourself and your mental state back into a confident state of mind by executing your plan over a sequence of trades and seeing the edge play out, right? If I've not taken a trade for two weeks, and I'm feeling slightly rusty, the best thing that I will do is just spend two or three hours on the weekend just going through Euro dollar, going through pound yen, going through dollar Swiss, and just getting into the habit again of back testing a few months, start taking a few winning trades here, build the confidence back. Before you know it, you're completely refreshed. You're not going to the next live trade rusty because that's the last thing you need. Same thing with a losing streak when all your mind is focused on is the losses that you've taken. You need to approach the next trade with a fresh slate. Right, and that's very, very hard to do. It took me a long time to be able to do that, right? But it's important that you do that. And a good way you can do that is by backtesting. Testing specifically with a purpose in mind as well. And you're building the confidence via practice. Highly important, right? So that's the strategy in itself. But once again, like I said at the start of the video, 
this is not for you to screenshot this and use this and just try and you know stick to it because you're not gonna wanna stick to it. The best thing you can do is screenshot this, go and put the work in, go and figure out what makes you tick and how you work and how you operate in a state of tilt and what things happen in your life when you're feeling stressed or distracted, what are the best ways that you cope with it. You need to get to the root cause of this and then by doing that, then you can put your own recovery strategy in place and actually optimize your trading even more. So this is something that's actually in with, within my trading plan, right? But most people would just have technicals within the trading plan. But the truth is, it's deeper than that. You need a few systems in place. You need to know how to mitigate risk. You need to know, right, if you take five losing trades in a row, are you gonna do anything different or are you gonna keep do, doing the same thing? Are you gonna still have the same risk open? These are things that the vast majority of traders do not even think about until they get into that cycle themselves. And even more so, sometimes people don't even think about it then. So it's important that you actually take the steps and do the work required and put the graft in to then actually come out on top over the long term. Right, I've had to initiate this so many times over the past three years. I don't really have to do it anymore that often, but it's essentially like a buffer in place. So if you get into that period where your emotions are heightened, something's going on in life, or you're in a bad losing streak, you could, you've got the confidence in yourself that you've got a recovery strategy in place to get you back to where you should be and then on the right path again to that next like higher. So it's really, really important. People don't think about this, like I said before, but it's important to really, really think about this and uh, put something in place for yourself. But overall, that's the recovery strategy. Take the time to put the work in. And that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend, stay refreshed, and I'll see you all next week in the markets.